Welcome back to There's On Daily Mix. Math can be a challenge for some children and Mathnasium can help be the place to take care of that for them. And Ryan Bitkoff is with me. How are you doing, Ryan? I'm doing great. How are you? Uh, you know what? I'm a little nervous because last time we had the board here mm -hmm. and I was, okay, okay, I can handle the board. But then you said, Brad, I'm going to do some mine test on you. Kind yes. Of. Some we're, mind math. As we're we going to do some mental <laughs> math that you don't even need the board for. Let's talk about Mathnasium again, uh, how important it is to kids right now um, who are not just struggling with math, but just who might want to further their math and, you know, um, math in school and stuff. Well, Mathnasium, you know, our 23 centers valley-wide, you know, Mathnasium is a math-only learning center where we work with uh, kids' grades kindergarten all the way through 12th grade. So I have materials and testing for all different you know, age groups. And we definitely want to help kids uh, learn math. We realize that there's been a lot of upheaval in the last couple of years. And we know that even with that, there are kids that maybe that disruption where they normally wouldn't need a tutor would now you know, need a little bit of math help. And so we're here for that. Yeah. Yeah. And we love uh, helping kids. I've seen it change their lives. And it really is a great thing to be in. Yeah. Right. Let me ask you this. So if the kids are doing great in their math and they want to maybe move ahead, mm -hmm. do you guys work with them on that? Or do you kind of like go, well, let's go at your pace? Or, or what do you guys we do? We absolutely will work with kids. Um, the assessment's really the critical starting point because that tells us where the gaps are. And once we know where the gaps are, we start by filling in those gaps. It's kind of like uh, building a foundation for a house because math scaffolds on itself. Yeah. So you want to be able to fill in those gaps, get that foundation firm, and then build it up. Yeah. And the best thing out of our centers is probably going to be confidence. Confidence is the one thing that we really build in them as we're building that math, you know, number sense and math gymnasium method into uh, the students. Yeah, I mean, it was different when I was, you know, growing up because what she showed me, I was like, oh, wow, I'm not excited about math. Uh, which is really, and that's what you guys do. You get the kids Absolutely. excited. Well, it's mathnasium. It's a gymnasium for math. <laughs> so you come here and you get a workout. I like it. So when kids come in, you know, we have that mathnasium hour and we have it broken down into components that help to work out the, the mind and really get that mathnasium, you know, method established into the students. Yeah. It works I, really well. And I do like hearing the success stories because, you know, you hear about the one kid who doesn't want to come in. They sit there and they're like, oh, my, you know, I have to do this. And they say probably by the end of the session, mm -hmm. they're walking away excited and, and wanting to come back the next day. I have, I have students that walk out in the car and say, I can't wait to go back. That is awesome. When you hear that, you know, as the door's closing, you're like, yes, we're working. It's, it's a great feeling. So. And then I have a student that uh, was struggling with percents. And percents are something you can do in your head. So how do you define percent? It's out of 100. So as long as you know that, you can do any percent and you can do it in your head. So for example, we ask a student, what is 7% of 300? And they'll say, um, well, what's 7% of 100? And they'll say uh, seven. And you go, okay, three times, 21. Now what's 7% of 250? I had one student that did that in their head and then I asked them that second part and they stumped. And I said, wait a minute, you just did the first part, let's break it down. So you have 7%. Stop, hold on, hold on. Okay, is that too just, much? You do, all right, let's do this. Is that blowing right, your so, mind? All right, all right so. All right, I, I got, okay, so. 7% of 300 so is 21. 21, okay. So now 7% of 250 is. It's 7% of 100 plus 7% of 100. Oh. Plus 7% of 50, which is half of 100. So. So you go from 21. 40, 45. No, less, oh. yeah, you're almost there. Almost there. 7% <laughs> of 100 is how much? Seven. 7% seven. of the second 100 is? Seven. Okay, and then second, if you have a third hundred, that would also be seven. But what's half of that? Four point, or three point. Three point five. Three point five. So fourteen plus three point five is seventeen, 17. and a half. Okay. And there you go. And you did that in your head. <laughs> Well, while you're driving to work with both hands firmly on the wheel, right? Ryan, I go, oh my goodness, you, stop laughing at me, everybody. Everybody else had it quick. Stop laughing at me. So, no, I'm just kidding. No, that's interesting. I didn't realize that, how to break that down. I had a student that really struggled with that, and I said, put your pencil down, let's walk through that. And by the, la you know, five minutes later, she was doing the 250 in her head and didn't even know she could do it. And all of a sudden, her confidence just shot up 100%. So, okay, so what I'm doing is, let's see, now I'm not, I want to do this again. All right, so you're asking me the percentage of, all right, let's do another number. Can we do another number? Sure. Okay, all right, try What's 7% of 150? Okay, that, oh, that's, okay, so seven. Seven, and then and another 100 would be seven, but so you want half of that. It'll be nine and a half. Yeah. 
Stop helping me out there, guys. Nine and a half. I got it. That's right. You got this. I got it. You got this. Okay. That is May I didn't. Wow. And we call it mental math, and lots of kids can do it. So one of the reasons for an accurate assessment is we find out what the gap is, but the gap also tells us what do they know. And so we start with what you know, and we add to it. And so that's one of the, the blessings of, you know, Mathnasium is we're able not only to see what they need, but also find out where their starting point is. And you can, you can imagine a, a kid, you know, they were introduced to, you know, long division, but they struggled with it. Or they were introduced to counting, but they probably counted in twos and fives. Yeah. And so when you can just find out, okay, where are they at? What's the gap? start with what they know and move them forward, you'll see them just take off. See, that's why, like, there you go, because they take each child differently, but then they work together when they find those groups, mm -hmm. which is amazing. So, Ryan, how can they find out more about Mathnasium? You can go to mathnasium.com. Uh, my t particular center is mathnasium.com forward slash Tempe. We love helping students. We've seen it, um, math makes sense, and it really changed kids' lives, and we would be glad to work with anybody in the Valley. And we're on all social media. You can just look us up at, uh, at Mathnasium and you can find us and uh, call us and get an assessment. Start today. We would love to, to work with your students. I like it. There you go. Thank you, Ryan, for stopping. And thank you for giving me that uh, little help there.